start by giving you a first look at your weather with First Alert meteorologist Brian Bachman. Brian, I told you that I had a little bit of a joke for you here. Mm -hmm. See. I'm filling in for Anna. We wanted to make sure that it'd be pretty easy with the switch over here, Dana, Anna, you know, pretty similar. Keep it phonetically similar. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good yeah. call. <laughs> like that. Uh, and and uh, glad to say that uh, our weather, which was already pretty nice out there for today, Dana, mm -hmm. uh, going to continue as we go into the second half of the weekend. In fact, getting maybe a little bit better even than it was out there for today. Really, the only thing that was unusual about today's weather was the fact that it was a bit breezier than normal. And that's because what is now tropical depression, Ophelia, uh, has been close enough to the area that we've been getting some of the gusty winds around the far back side of it, even some lingering scattered cloud coverage here and there. But uh, the storm is continuing on. It's northerly path at about nine miles per hour. It's centered just about 40 miles uh, south southwest of Richmond, Virginia here right now. Folks in North Carolina finally starting to see things letting up here. There are still some showers rotating in around the west and south side of Raleigh as that center of circulation continues away. But uh, those winds will start to back off for folks there. But uh, Virginia up toward uh, parts of West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, up toward New Jersey and Pennsylvania really going to be dealing with the brunt of what's left of this system over about the next uh, 24 to 48 hours or so before it then arcs back out into the Atlantic and ultimately moves away from the country. Also in the tropics, as one system starts to weaken, weaken that is, well, we get a brand new uh, named tropical storm out in the Atlantic. We have tropical storm Philippe. Uh, this one way out there, about 1,000 miles west of the uh, Cape Verde Islands. That's closer to the African coast and a minimal tropical storm. Only 40 mile per hour sustained winds. Good news about this one, named or not, it is uh, one, not a storm that is currently expected to become a hurricane, but also one that looks like it's going to avoid all landmass here. It's going to stay well out over the open waters of the Atlantic over the next 48 hours or so, then start more of a northerly jog uh, by Wednesday and on into Thursday, which would even keep it well east of Bermuda. So no threats to the U.S. out of this, and thankfully it doesn't look like any major threats to any landmass for that matter. So back here at home tonight, all of that being said about the tropics, we do still see some of these scattered clouds in our eastern communities, Spartanburg, Gaffney, Rutherford, up toward about Asheville. Some of those clouds are still on the far southwestern periphery of Ophelia, but will start to break up and move away as the system continues to do so going into the overnight period. From there, it's not full fledged high pressure, but a region of just more stable weather uh, will grab, a, uh, grab a, a firmer hold for us as we head into our Sunday. So second half of the weekend really looking like a tree here. Here it is on future track overnight period watching what's ever left of this cloud coverage slowly kind of peel away. Mostly sunny skies for just about everybody getting up tomorrow morning. Only catch will be for some patchy fog for folks getting up in the mountains, but that'll be dealt with quickly. Nothing but sunshine from there going into tomorrow afternoon and evening and a comfortable day at that. So if you have a chance to get outside, definitely take advantage of it for tomorrow. Good start to uh, conditions on Monday, heading out for the commute, getting the kids back into the groove of school. Either way, weather's not going to be an issue for that, and we'll keep that going throughout the balance of our Monday afternoon as well. So for tonight, clearing skies and some patchy fog developing in the mountains. Comfortably cool. Low temps around 52 degrees and on the cooler side again in the upstate. Most of us falling into the upper 50s as mostly clear skies take over as Ophelia departs. Day planner for your Sunday drawn up a winner. Sunshine all day long starting in the 50s and 60s around 8 o'clock and warming to some mid 70s for highs in the mountains. Some low 80s for tomorrow upstate but still low humidity so feeling fall like all the same. We keep it dry Monday as well. One more day of 80s in the upstate before then a cold front settles in and then stalls over the area from Tuesday through Friday. That'll lead to some back and forth between partly to mostly cloudy skies. Occasional showery weather settling back in for that stretch too, but notably cooler highs only reaching the low to mid 70s by the second half of the week. And in the mountains, a couple of days in the upper 70s tomorrow and Monday staying dry. Then that same showery weather pattern, even with some highs in the 60s, settling in by Wednesday and Thursday.